Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. As always, guys, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't done so, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, that information can be found down below in the description. So we have um, Taurus and Gemini Cusp. I'm just looking at like little quick notes. We have... Um, before we get started guys just a quick reminder these are general readings so only take whatever applies and leave the rest um we have this energy of um a million times a million times over um over and over and over and over again um th there is this um this very repetitive energy it's um again whether this is a conversation with a significant other where this is a conversation with yourself um or a conversation at work or whoever it may be with it's almost kind of it's like the same thing over and over and over again um and there is no moving forward there is no progression there is no change it's like you're literally saying the same exact thing over and over again now if if this is in a relationship and maybe you're continuously telling your partner what it is that you um what it is that you want or need from them whether that's help around the house whether that is emotionally um or whatever it is um if this is at work this is like you're trying your best to either uh, either get ahead um as far as like a promotion or um trying to get an increase in pay but nothing was changing so when i say it's like the same thing over and over again because you're getting the same response over and over again right so if this is at work and you're telling your boss like you know it's been like two years since you gave me a raise like you know what's going on like i did it oh you know sales are bad this like you're getting the same exact freaking story uh if this is a significant, significant other and you've been waiting for them to help you out or whatever it is that you guys say you guys want to work on it's like they're giving you the same excuse um and then if this is with yourself it's like maybe you told yourself like yeah i'm gonna start eating healthy i'm gonna start doing this i'm gonna start doing that and it's like when when you're calling yourself out you're like oh you know yeah i'll start monday because this week was busy oh this week we had this oh this week we had and it's like come on like when 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 do you get to that point where you reach your limit and and it's almost kind of like this scream coming out of you where you've had enough with something but you're you're still there you're still there and it's like okay if if it hasn't changed in the last three five years love uh, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. There, there's more. So most likely, it is not going to. Yes, there is exceptions to every rule, and what we have to realize is that we are not always that exception. We can always hope for that exception. We can always wish for it and pray for it, uh, but sometimes things are the way they are, so that we can wake up and we can see what it is or how it is that we're living our life and what it is that we are putting up with that is keeping us stuck and i know that that's going to rub certain people the same way and and it's not i'm not talking about you bailing out out of a job after the first sign of something i'm not talking about you bailing out of a relationship because of the first argument you have with your person i'm not talking about bailing out um off on yourself because you've given up three times every time you try to eat healthy or eat clean no i am talking about when you're continuously working and putting in the effort to see either a relationship or to see to see a situation grow and expand and change and the other party is not putting any effort whether that's your job your significant other whatever it is then they're not ready they're not ready and as hard as hard as, as that is to swallow, it is the truth. And and the more that you stay in a situation that is not ready for where it is that you're headed or what it is that you're going to um, evolve into, 
the more difficult and the more uncomfortable that situation is going to become. And and a quick example of that is I worked um, a few years at a specific place, um, and there were certain certain things that were concerning to me as a nurse that I brought up. Uh, on several occasions to to people that were above me on meetings and things like that and and I tried for years to try to get I, I was able to get certain other things addressed but there were certain things that were not addressed and I had to decide okay is it is it worth it for me to stay here knowing that I don't agree with this, this, and this, and this, and that. And I've brought it up to certain people's attention and nothing is being done. You know? And, and I had to make that choice. Like, okay, do I stay here because I really love it? Because I love what I'm doing. I love the people that I work with, but there are certain things that I'm uncomfortable with, right? And, and when you are in charge of people's life, right, it, it becomes kind of like, okay, if I stay here, like I've seen it. I see people in my position as a nurse get thrown under the bus for, for things that were brought up ahead of time, right? And and that's kind of like the way that I'm talking or the what I'm talking about right so I'm not telling anybody here to go ahead and call it quits on anything but you have to also know when enough is enough alrighty so <clears throat> let's go ahead and let's pull out a few tarot um, because some of you are in, in this notion of like you maybe calling it quits or maybe leaving a situation or leaving a person is not something that you do and, and i get it but then then you're gonna have to get comfortable with the idea that this is as good as it gets at least until this person is ready to to commit or ready to put the work in for themselves is it guaranteed that it's going to happen in the next five years, 10 years? No. Could it happen in the next year? Could. But that's a choice that you have to make. I I personally know women in their 60s and 50s that have been in relationship. And the same thing these men were doing when they were early on in the relationship, like whether they were in their 20s or their 30s or whatever it was, they're still doing it till this day. And the purse, the, these, these women are still hoping and wishing for change. But the person has never had a reason to change. So we have the justice in the reverse, the seven of cups with the queen of pentacles. Um, what it is that you are expecting or what it is that you want, um, the outcome that you want is something that you're going to have to go and get for yourself. Um, this is a situation that is calling you to take a stand, that is calling you to make a decision and to stop, um, stop being in this space where you're waiting on other people where you're waiting on other people to change in order to progress or to move on in life and again for those of you that get triggered by that um the, like there's nothing i can do or say um that's just the way that it's coming up you you have to you have to realize that in order for you to there, there are there are a lot of times let's put it this way where the 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 things that we are attached to the most are the things that have to be removed in order for us to grow and evolve. Um, and if you get it, you get it. If you don't at this moment in time, um, eventually you will, right? And and it's almost kind of like this energy that. If you want, and I've said this before in plenty, like in many different meetings, if you want, if you want change, it has to start with you. So let's go ahead and let's see what is in the love energy for you guys. We are using the dark mirror deck. 
Um, this is going to be a rough week. Let's put it this way for everyone because I am using these decks. So uh, these these cards and when I go into like this space, when it goes into reading, is a lot of um, um the energies that usually come up are really a lot of like self reflecting, um, darker what people would consider. Let's put it this way, darker energies. Um, and people tend to get triggered a lot. So I am aware of that. Um, so <laughs> definitely like, you know, and, and I don't mean to laugh in this, in that sense. I'm just saying like, it's okay for people to express and say whatever it is that they feel they have to say. Um, but just kind of know that that's kind of like where, what the energies have been this week. Um, we have a number 23, revenge, right? Um, what, what is it that, it, it's almost kind of like this energy of like, you, you walking away, you, you walking away from any situation, regardless of whatever it is, you're not doing it to be vengeful. You're not doing it to be pitiful. You're not doing it to try to get revenge. Um, and if that is, cause I feel that, that for some of you, this is a fear of, of like not wanting to, not wanting that person, whether it's at work or whatever it is to feel like you're being revengeful. Um, and, and to be honest with you, you have no control over how they see this. You have no control over how they feel in regards to it. If you're, if you know that you walked away from something because you've had enough, and it was literally um draining you like draining your soul draining your spirit then that's it that's all you have to be accountable for in in the sense like that is all that you have to pay attention to how somebody else receives what you how you like how somebody else receives you walking away that is their business not yours now when i say that are are their feelings valid? Yes, they are, but they're not your responsibility. And, and I know, again, a lot of people are going to be like, oh my God, you're so cold-hearted. No, it's not about being cold-hearted. Um, I can sit there and listen, but I don't have to take that responsibility. Because at the end of the day, I'm responsible for me, right? I'm responsible for my feelings, for my, uh, for my being, and what situations I choose to engage in and don't. All right, so let's go ahead and let's pull out a closing message. I just need one card, Spirit. One card for a closing message. <clears throat> So we have your dreams need a practical plan, the full moon in a Taurus. So uh, again, a lot of you are in this space of like <laughs> tired, let's put it this way, of, of talking or saying the same thing, uh, of living the same day over and over again. You want change. You know what that change looks like. A month or two months down the line, but you're having a difficult time trying to figure out how to put it into play, how to put it into motion. So taking some time to sit with yourself and allow clarity to come through as to what steps are needed to be taken in order to allow this to, to come through or allow something to, to finally manifest, to allow yourself to start seeing that progress that may <laughs> you may have not been seeing. Well, guys, that is all that I have. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing. Guys, take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.